Hey there crew members, Starfleet personnel. Slight detour from the uh, the building of the Enterprise because uh, I just felt as though I needed to do this this little video. As you know by now if you've been following the channel, I am a big original series fan. And if you are new to the channel, actually if this is your first time, check out all my other videos because the, the main thing about this channel is what I'm doing is I'm building a physical model of the entire interior of the USS Enterprise at 125th scale. So that's, that's generally what this, what this uh, channel is all about. Many consider the city on the edge of forever to be the best uh, original Star Trek TV episode ever made. And I kind of, you know, I kind of agree with that. It's, it's an incredible episode. But as the title of this video suggests, there are, there are two things that I really, really dislike about it. As you know from my intro at the very beginning when I started in, in January, um, my conviction is, is that Star Trek was never a kid's show. And there, there are... There are two elements that stand out in City on the Edge of Forever for me that, that really shouldn't be there and I don't know why they put it in. So the first one is, you know when they, when they, uh, when the uh, Kirk and Spock jump through and they arrive in something like, uh, it's just an epic scene where they just arrive in full Starfleet uniform in 1940s, I think it's 1940s, or late 1930s uh, New York. Just amazing. I just love that, you know, that, that vibe. So anyway, they arrive, and they're kind of there, and Spock, you know, Spock's immediately thinking, my ears, <laughs> my ears, because, you know, in the episodes, as you know, he always pulls, like, when he gets into those situations, you know, he always pulls, like, a, a, a woolly hat down over his ears or something, or I think it's in... Uh, Return of the Archons, where he's got that cloak over his head so you he can't see his ears. So anyway, they, they, uh, they, they, they find some clothes, so they get out of the Starfleet uniforms. And then there's a scene where I, I think they have a, like a confrontation with a police officer or something. But it, it turns out where there's a scene where, where the camera is from a distance and they're running down the street towards... Uh, the mission, which is a place where homeless people go and they can get some food, and that's where we first meet uh, Edith Edith Keeler, played by the the amazing uh, John Collins. But oh, look at this! Is the cringe factor when the, when they're running down the street, you get this music. <laughs> I remember watching the episode uh, with, with a girlfriend of mine and I was thinking, this is incredible. Because uh, she actually hadn't seen Star Trek before and I was thinking, this is amazing. It's just, you know, it's like seeing it through somebody else's eyes for the first time. Um, but when that music comes on, it just turned, it just turned the whole thing. Uh, it cheapened it for me. It should have been some kind of dramatic music. It just cheapened the whole thing. It's like, what, why are you putting kiddies music in that scene. Okay. So that's the first thing that, that I really didn't like about the episode. And the second thing, that I mean, it, it's not so much that I didn't like it, it was just kind of a little bit uh, lacking imagination. And the second thing is, when McCoy, because he can't stop himself with that syringe with the, with the nutcase juice in it or something, and he just, he goes charging through the uh, the Guardian of Forever into the past. Um, and when he arrives, he's completely de de delirious. You know, and, and the makeup's great on him, actually. He actually looks as though he's been poisoned. You know, the makeup under his eyes, and he's all kind of like all this. But the, I think the first thing out of his mouth is he, he comes charging down a, a, a back alley or something, and he, and he shouts out, he shouts out, murderers, assassins, <laughs> like that. And that's okay, once, 
But then every time we see McCoy in that in that series, that's all he ever says. He just he's just charging about, shouting murderers, assassins, and you know you would have thought that the scriptwriters might have given him something else to say. You know, just anything. You know, like like you won't get me, or you know. I don't know, some, something other than just murderers and assassins in, in every scene where we see McCoy. So it's those two things, really. That The first one is really silly, that music. And um, and the second one is just M McCoy's uh, script, uh, DeForest Kelly's script in that in that episode. And I think we hear that silly, that, that kidding music again, where uh, I, th I think Spock might... The, the police officer when they first confront are confronted with the police officer I think he might take his hat off or something and of course you know we see the police officer looking at his ears and then we see uh, Spock on screen and he raises his eyebrow as he does that Spock eyebrow raise and as he raises his eyebrow and tilts his head you know again we get do, 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 do. just doesn't fit and it's unnecessary to the show. So anyway, uh, personally, you know, I, I loved I, I loved that episode and it's definitely in my uh, in my top ten episodes. Another thing that I don't like about that episode, so I guess it's three. You got the kiddie music, DeForest Kelly's script, and the fact that we uh, we, we don't get to see the the Enterprise. But it's a great episode and, and also to me at the end, you know, when when Captain Kirk, he knows that Edith Keeler has to die in order to uh, change the outcome of events for the for for World War Two, I think it is. But he's falling in love with her, right? But he knows she has to die, and then he actually stops McCoy. As you know, if you've seen the episode, he actually stops McCoy from preventing her death. She gets hit by a car, boom, and it's all over. And just uh, pull the the uh, the intensity of that scene at the end, especially you know the the way William Shatner played it, it was very very powerful. And the bit where they jump back through the Guardian of Forever, that enigmatic slow motion jump. You know you got all the uh, all the mist of time coming down from behind the Guardian and then this like slow motion epic jump where they kind of arrive back in back where they were and then the Guardian you know with that voice just says everything is as it was just amazing kind of you know godlike voice of, of the Guardian and just the way the way uh, Shatner plays that end scene is so amazing. Camera zooms in and you can see in his face that he's devastated by the death of Edith Keeler. And the final line of that, of that episode, he just says, Let's get the hell out of here. And the rest of the Enterprise crew that didn't go through the uh, through the Guardian, Uhura, Mr. Scott, maybe there was a red shirt, I think there was a red shirt in there as well somewhere. Um, you can also see on there, as the, as the camera's showing them, you can also see on their expressions that they know even though Spock says the mission was a success, they can see on Captain Kirk's face that something uh, that something didn't end too well. Amazing, amazing acting, amazing scene. And of course, they all kind of stand together and that beautiful original series transporter effect and sound, boom. Awesome. Anyway, so... Um, that, that was just a, a little detour <laughs> from the, the model making of the, of the Enterprise, which I'm on it 
I'm doing it. And I really enjoyed making this this little uh, this little guardian of forever. And I used reference from the screen with these kind of ancient, you know, remains of an ancient civilization and that kind of thing. And, okay, uh, Mr. Trek, it is now time to bring this video to a close. Okay. So, <laughs> I've done my time here in this video, so I hope you enjoyed that, that little review. Let me know what you think. I mean, may, maybe, you know, do you agree with me on that? Do you agree with that, that, that music? Maybe you actually like the music. Maybe it kind of lifts the, the, uh, the, the tone a little bit. Maybe it lightens things up a little bit. And maybe you think the script that DeForest Kelly had was fine. <laughs> Murderers! Assassins! Um, but great episode. As always, I hope the video finds you well. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and also uh, check out my Patreon if you want to support support uh, my project with this mission. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.